Recruitment Solutions Company Lula Way has a network of job centers across the country and has been facilitating the rollout of more centers in Gauteng under the provincial government's Sepo 1 million initiative. With plans to propel the employment progress being made nationally, it recently launched Libraries of Hope, a groundbreaking job creation collaboration with the National Library of South Africa. We caught up with the team in Sharpville City Bing. There are nearly 2,000 libraries throughout the country in uh, outlying areas and townships where um, the kids in those areas, you know, they've had limited access to opportunities. The library's always been a, a, a beacon of hope, a beacon of access to information, to books. But now we're going online, now we're taking it to the next level. The National Library has a lot of projects that we do uh, with uh, different organizations. And the Lula Way one is very, very special because it's about jobs. It's about uh, young people who have, you know, high school education or even a degree, but do not have jobs. If you have you know, like 6.2 million young people that are out of work, out of 9.2 million that um, don't work in the country overall, I think that the, the, the problem is dire, the problem is a, is a crisis. I think it needs a, a little bit more creative and uh, critical thinking from all sides. Walking around with a brown envelope where you need to go from Sharpville to, um, to Santin to find a job and, and sort of walk from shop to shop or from factory to factory and hope you're going to stumble on a place that actually has a job available in today's day and age is, is just ridiculous. And I mean, it's just costly and, 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 and demotivating and demoralizing and doesn't actually work. We're opening up job centers. Initially at 27 private libraries with the intention to roll out another 300 next year and then to further that and expand on that. So we're opening up job centers on the various library sites. We are going national, so it's uh, in all nine provinces. And basically um, the candidates who are looking for jobs in those areas like Sharpville and various other areas can come into the centers free of charge, have access to the internet and uh, Lula Way's platform. They'll be screened and assessed and we'll make a profile for them, put them on the platform and then obviously giving access to employers, giving them access to these kids that, that, that didn't have opportunities before. That's the first step, you know, street, create a better process of entry level um, unemployment by creating accessible physical centers in the communities where people could come in, see what jobs are available, register, go through assessments, and make themselves available out there. Step two is how do you encourage companies to take on more people? And ultimately, at the bottom of it, it's money. You know, how do you get companies? You need to make it easier for companies, financially easier for companies to take the risk of taking on more young people. And I'm saying this because it works. We've seen it. There's a lot of funding available out there from learnerships, um, work integrated learning programs, stipend programs of various, for, of, of various sorts. And we see it working day in and day out. Once you get people into the job, um, one of the big issues in South Africa is the fact that a lot of young people um, go in the job and they stay there for a week or two, um, sometimes even just for a few days, and then they basically disappear. And what happened? They got demoralized. They felt like they're being abused. They felt like the job description is not exactly what they wanted. The salary is not exactly what they wanted. Sometimes they just decide that they feel it's a scam because they weren't given the contract in the first day of work. Like all kinds of you know simple, simple things that can be addressed by basic induction and basic sort of you know work readiness um, uh, explanations and helping them with the training. So what we do is every person that we place, we take them through a one-day induction that explains to them the basics about the job that they're going into and how they need to behave and what they need to do, how they need to dress and a lot of things like that. And we found that we managed to increase retention by between 12 and 15 percent depending on the industry. The challenges that we face the most is uh, access to some of these jobs uh, and even young people getting that information or job seekers actually getting that information. So with the advent or the availability of Lulaway and other uh, job centers or job uh, creating opportunities, it actually assists us because it will be easier for people to simply get onto the website, apply for that relevant job that they are looking for and be able to partner with government because as government alone we can create all the jobs but we need all partners and everyone out there to be able to assist us that will actually help us to achieve even those targets that have been set by the national development plan 
of employing more and more people and be able to fight poverty and making sure that our communities actually do have access to resources and even basic things that they actually need in their households. As government, we can't dictate to the private sector who to hire and who not to hire. But if you've got your lula away, then it's easy for people to actually apply through their online uh, job application and be able to select the jobs that they actually need. At the end of the day, we're not just giving access, but we're actually creating jobs as well. Um, up until this point, we've uh, placed 25,000 people in jobs over the last couple of years, but uh, that's just the tip of the iceberg. The intention is really to make an impact in the, the unemployment issues in this country and, and expand on that uh, exponentially. The city region continues to attract people from all over the country as well as other parts of Africa and abroad, shaping its rich heritage and cultural diversity. The social cohesion carnival on Heritage Day saw thousands of people participate.